I'm in news and I want to uh, talk to the spirit, there's a certain spirit or a certain mindset. Uh, and what I want to talk, the news that I got today is that I heard about a story of this father and a son. And not too long ago, the son, whatever he was dealing with, whatever kind of demons or uh, things that, that, that the son was dealing with, couldn't take it no more and decided to kill himself. And it had been two years, and the, the father, he's a popular guy, the, the father couldn't take it no more and heard the news that, I think it was yesterday, they found him in his home, gone, dead, wouldn't respond to And it broke my heart. It broke my heart because, you know, mental health is real. You know, people are committing suicide every day, and some people say, well, no, if you commit suicide, you're going to jail, going to hell. There's no repentance for the grave. And But, you know, I got a question about that because this is true. The Bible says that. But what kind of situation or what happens when this person knows God, but they go through something so traumatic that they lose their mind? They didn't have no support system. They didn't have God strong in their life. And in some kind of way, just the thoughts and the hurts of replaying over this, this guy losing his son. I know I, I can only imagine, I can have an idea of losing your son and just the, the trauma that he that he had to go through before he he quit to walk his life. You know, and who knows, he maybe he maybe he didn't commit suicide or maybe something happened, but I know that from following the story that it was so hard dealing with life, knowing that his son went in it in this world, and I can understand it. And those people who are at that place where you've lost someone, someone that you love, and you're contemplating this very thing of leaving this world because you feel like the person that you trusted in and you feel like your best friend is gone, so. You said in yourself, why should I stay? My wife is gone, my husband is gone, my mom is gone, my kids are gone. What purpose do I have here? But I just want to let you know that you always got purpose. As long as you're breathing, there's purpose. God has something for you. You don't have to die. You don't have to quit the world's life. You don't have to get, you don't have to kill yourself. You don't have to, and just to prove a point, don't prove no point. Don't prove a point. Prove the point of living. Don't prove the point of dying. It's real. And, you know, I just I, I just want to encourage all of, all of you who are facing heavy stuff, stuff that's pressing your mind, I mean mental stuff, mm -hmm. stuff that's facing your mind so that you don't know you're coming or going. You don't know if you're losing your mind. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And I'm not talking about no cute stuff. I'm just talking about just real life. I'm just talking about people who are struggling. I'm just talking about people who are dealing with things that everyday life. And they're just trying to survive. I know that's you. You're just trying to survive. You're just trying to make it from day to day. Every day is a challenge. Every day is hard. Every day is a fight. You're just trying to survive. And survive. Survive. Survive this thing. You ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. Don't take yourself out. Don't kill yourself. Don't throw in the towel. Let God help you. Let God send somebody to help you. Reach out for help. Reach out. Don't think you don't have no help. Somebody care about you. Somebody love you. Somebody can see you through. You know, I realize and I understand as a dad and what's happened to my son. And I look and I think that there's so many people who will go through so many things. And even those people who are had something to happen in their life that they became paralyzed and uh, in whatever kind of degree, level or condition. And I realize that the people that don't make it, the people that don't recover most of the time, it's because they gave up. 
It's because they didn't have a support system. It's because nobody believed in them. What about the homeless person out there? You know their story. Now, some people, a lot of people look down at them, but what happened to them? Many of those people are millionaires, been millionaires, but something happened tragic, and they lost it all. They lost their mind. Don't lose your mind. Don't lose your mind. But I got a mind for you, the mind of Christ. The Bible said, let this mind be in you. That's in Christ Jesus. And he said, that, come unto me, all you that women heavy lady. And I will give you rest. God will rest. Rest to your mind. Those that keep their mind stayed upon him, he'll give you perfect peace. Trust him today. He said that whosoever shall call on his name, they'll be saved. Be delivered. Let him deliver you out of your mind. Let him deliver you out of that pain. Let him deliver you out of that stress. Will you? God bless you.